friends. I'm Joe. That's Mina. Most of us have probably heard about Turkish coastline, the beautiful blue sea, the resort towns, but uh, there's another part of Turkish water sources that uh, many of us don't know anything about. And don't get me wrong, we haven't seen them all either, but what we have seen have been really different, really beautiful, and this is why we dedicate this video to Turkish lakes. We will start with our most recent one, or actually it was uh, Joe's most recent one, because when driving to the lake, then uh, I encountered the luck of uh, having one of the most terrible stomach flus which means that the only place I got to know really well ar around that lake was the toilet. Even though the drive there was rough, it was insanely beautiful, I can confirm that. And let's see what Joe had to say about the lake. I'll get to see it for the first time as well. Yay! <laughs> rough ride, but totally, totally worth it. We have made it to Karagul, meaning the Black Lake. And it's up in the mountains in here, it's quite magical, really. I was just making a time lapse, standing in one place for 10 minutes, just listening. And there's sound of water, sound of birds, an occasional rock rolling down the hillside. It is so peaceful in here. Just, I was really excited when I got to, got here. Like, the rough road is over and everything, but now it's just peace. No thoughts. What an amazing feeling. If somebody would have told me two weeks ago that Joe, instead of this 40 degrees that you have here in Marden, you're gonna be in the mountains with snow. No way. No way. In the middle of Turkish summer and there's snow in here. The second lake we're going to talk about is called Mavi Girl. And Mavi in Turkish means blue. And the name is also quite obvious because the water in Mavi Girl is the bluest blue you're ever going to see. And it's supposed to be three different lakes with a beautiful, beautiful color having waterfalls between them. How do I know all this? Because I'm looking down. And it's a popular place among Turkish people. There's so much greenery. It's a really natural and really beautiful place. But uh, if you're av adventurous enough, it is possible to go off the beaten track and go discovering those blue lakes by yourself.
third on our list is Tuuskölu. It is literally a salty lake that Google claims to be the second biggest lake in Turkey. We do not claim this to be the truth because unfortunately Turkish lakes are drying out in a terrifyingly rapid speed. But nevertheless, when we were there in July, it was a gorgeous sight and walking on that salty crust was a memory never to be forgotten. This is truly, truly magical. We have never been on a salt lake before and it feels like the sky just melts into the lake itself. Being there, it really feels like you're on another planet. Sometimes the price we pay for great shots is higher than we think. This is the skirt I wore for the salt lake. It is so salty that if I put it on the ground it will stand up by itself. Well, almost. But it, it's just so salty that there's salt in the air if I shake it. I better go and wash it. <laughs> Fourth lake on our list is called Nemrut Crater Lake and uh, it literally lies in an ancient uh, volcanic crater. It's such a beautiful place, there's so much nature around it and this is also the reason why it's a popular picnic place for Turkish people. And what makes this lake special is the clear, clear water. And in this clear water we saw so much life. For example, fish that we as Estonians are only used to seeing in aquariums. Fifth and last on our list is uh, Saldakölu. It was a big favorite of ours. We spent several days there and could have easily spent more, maybe weeks, months. <laughs> we were there a long time ago, so let us give you a reminder of those bluest of blue and clearest of clear waters we saw over there. Hello. I can't shake the simplest feeling beyond the ghost We stand on the opposite shore Hello Ramona I reach through mysterious ceilings My only hope 
I look for the things I don't know. Show me where the Indian goes. Honest, honestly, don't. I should be the last to know. Well, these were the five lakes. Our five favorite lakes from Turkey. But don't get me wrong, Turkey is vast. It's huge. And there are many lakes that we haven't seen yet. But still, even those five, hopefully gave you an idea how diverse and different Turkish lakes are and they are definitely worth a visit. But this is gonna be it from us this time guys. We will see you again next time. Take care, bye.